Damien Kelly, ready for one last bid to step back into the limelight. His craft, his skill and his courage have never been in question. But now he looks to win a European title a second time. On Friday Fight Night, the European Bantamweight title. Simone Malodrotto of Italy is the defending champion. And Kelly, this time, is the challenger. And what a challenge. Kelly, the veteran of so many big fights, stepping up to bantamweight. It looks a tall order. And speaking of veterans, Johnny Nelson is here with us tonight to see if Kelly could do this. It's one we have been looking forward to, but there are many more coming. Take a look at this lineup. Big fights and big names coming. Oh, left hook! Thunderous action. Oh, what a shot. Oh, this is unbelievable. Yes, it's a fantastic summer of boxing ahead on Sky and more details on all those big names and big fights coming up later on. But we start here in Belfast tonight with two men who themselves can claim to be world class. Ed Robinson. The pressure's on Damien Kelly tonight, stepping up to bantamweight for the first time to challenge Simone Malodrotu for the European title. Ask anyone to step up at all sort of a tough, tough title, European title, it's going to be hard like so. Looking forward to it, but it's going to be hard also. The well-respected Sardinian's making his fourth defence, is world rated and has never been stopped. He's a, an excellent fighter. He, he's a very technical fighter. His training uh, is very serious during the training and did want to win, want to win and want to come back in Italy with the title. But when on song, Kelly's a match for anyone. It's a terrific comeback win for Damien Kelly. Damien Kelly is an artist. He's, he's, just, he's just poetry in motion as far as boxing is concerned. Down at flyweight, Kelly was Commonwealth, British and then European belt holder. It's a magical night this for Damien Kelly. Great performance from him. Although inactivity and cuts have blighted the Belfast hero's progress. Oh, look at that eye. Just look at that eye. This opportunity at least ends the frustration of waiting around for an often postponed shot at IBF flyweight champion Vic Darchinian. Everybody's sick listening to it and just fed up with, you know, it's, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, you know. At 33, this is Kelly's last chance. Well, no one can afford to lose at any stage in their career, I mean, especially. Well, my, my stage, but no one wants to lose. It's, boxing's not about losing, it's about winning. The locals suddenly got the talent to become a two-weight European champion, but it won't be easy. I've trained very hard here. I mean, I'm going to take up both hands to get this great opportunity, especially in Belfast. Like, I'll never get this chance again, I don't think. Is it his last chance, Johnny? This is, Kelly has the gift of experience at boxing at European level, so he will also have the confidence as well. We can't doubt his heart, we can't doubt his boxing ability and his boxing brain. He does all the right things when he gets out there to fight. It sounds like you rate him on what he's done in his career so far. Oh, oh, definitely. I, I, I've seen him get cut and change a fight into a boxing match, a classic boxing match. He's trying to have it right. This kid's an artist when he gets in there. Uh, the on-off saga Ed Robinson reported about this world flyweight bid last year, the frustration of not getting it against Darshinian. Can you identify with what he's been through, the to frustration of that? Totally. I remember my first reign as European champion. I defended it once and I was hanging about for 18 months to try and defend that. It's so frustrating at that time. And in the end, instead, a step up to bantamweight. Now, this was against Jason Booth at super flyweight, so he has made a step up in class previously. This was two good craftsmen at work that night, Johnny. And it did underline also how he has dealt with cuts when they've occurred in his ex career. Exactly, and, and, and the, the main thing is, a fighter, uh, he's the sort of fighter that can change his form of fighting partway through a fight. He got caught and thought, right, I've got to change my skill here, change my tactics, and he could do it midway through a fight. Not many fighters can do that when you get stuck into a rut. And is it that experience factor that you mentioned? One it didn't seem to bother him that much. One thing you can't buy, borrow, pretend to have, I always say is experience, and that's what Kelly's got a lot of at this level in his career. One of his best nights, this. If he's able still to produce this standard, could he yet win a European title? Again and again and again. You heard how he spoke. He said this is his last chance. He recognises that. He, he's going he's to give it his all and box to the best of his ability. And if he does that, even though it's a tall order, I believe he can do it. So up in weight against a man, the European bantamweight champion, Simone Malodrotu, who is a natural bantamweight. What are you expecting of the Italian here? 
the Italian is he's, he's rated number two by the WBC, number seven by the IBF. This is a world class fight, not a, just a world class fighter. These two are world class fighters. Uh, 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 Kelly will bring speed from the lower weight. Uh, 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 Maladrotti will, will bring power, and he will bring his class in there. And this will be a good match of a match. Thank you, Johnny. We know Maladrotti doesn't mind travelling to defend. He's done it before. But they've given Kelly every possible chance. He is at home in Belfast and indeed in his own corner of Belfast here at the Andersonstown Leisure Centre. And I'll wager many in the crowd here tonight were cheering him way back when, when he was winning Irish amateur titles for five years in the 90s. All is set then. We seldom have a bad one in Belfast. Commentators Adam Smith and Jim Watt and our Master of Ceremonies, John MacDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the main event, the fight of the night. Would you please welcome to the ring now, the challenger from Turf Lodge, Northern Ireland. It's Damian Kelly. The crowd arise. There will be wild rapture here in Anderson's town. A vital night for one of our most skilled, lighter fighters of the last decade. An exceptional amateur, a talented, technical pro. Listen to this noise. Belfast get behind their little hero. Tonight, he steps up. What was it, more of a cuffing shot? But uh, again, he's boxing well in this round. And Maladrotta looks like the one who's uh, run out of ideas just for a second. Back to Southpaw, then Orthodox. Trying things of a different nature, Maladrotta. Let me panic, and that will give Kelly confidence. And this crowd too. I mean, that was good work from Kelly. Danced out of range, back in again, punches off, then away. I mean, this is what he's so good at. The double job, still the winner. No matter how this goes, you're still catching the first High class point. affair here. And, uh, good beginning for Damien Kelly, who's thrown more, landed more, and has the success. Couldn't have asked really for a, a better start. No, it's a per perfect start. Uh, and thankfully, no facial damage, which was the big worry. See, now that little punch there from Kelly kind of glanced right. off and then the next one's partially blocked. Just a bit more quality, accuracy and cleanness in his punches would just put this beyond a doubt, I think. It's the 170th round of Damien Kelly's career, which started in 1997. And the uh, 142nd for Simone Maladrotu. Maladrotu looking for victory number 22, Kelly for win number 23. These are slashing punches that Maladrotto throws wide. You worry, a good left hook from, from Kelly under pressure there. But there's that right hand again, that sweeping wide hook, that's the, the kind of punches that can cause injuries. It's made to miss there, Maladrotto. It's the clever work of Kelly. He's on the balls of his feet, trying to get the jab out do things the correct way. I mean, if he was a bigger puncher, Jim, he might have become a world champion. Yeah, because, well, well it's, it's not over yet, but, uh, I mean, as we're saying, uh, during the last round, it's a tough division now. But this is better, because he looks at times to be standing his ground while he's counter-punching. See, countering, but uh, holding his, his ground at the same time almost looks more impressive than flitting around the, the ropes. It's been frustrating for Kelly. He was meant to go to Australia and meet the red hot Vic Darchinian. He might be a flyweight king, but uh, that was uh, cancelled. Got the opportunity now to resurrect the career, breathe fire into it. And he's doing just that. Yeah, we're seeing a bit of kind of swinging hope now from Alia Drotu. He knows he can't do it in a cultured fashion, he can't outbox this little fellow, so he's just trying to turn things with one big bomb, and he's so predictable against that, a boxer like Kelly, you don't expect him to land with these shots. He's had a couple of close title wins on points 
Malu Trotu. You wondered if uh, his world ratings from UBC number two and IBF number seven are a little high. Certainly Kelly looks the man on top. Look at that. Yeah, well, I was saying during the introductions that he's, he's just nicked through by the skin of his teeth at European level a couple of times. That suggests to me not genuine world class, and I think that's been proved here. Good European level fighter. He saw some blood there coming from, from Kelly. I wonder if it was from the mouth here. I think it's from the nose, which was uh, a problem a couple of rounds ago. Bleeding a bit more now. Told off there by referee Jesus Morata Garcia from Spain. Yeah, he threw the punches, Kelly had turned away. But Maladrotti trying to impose himself, but looks the frustration. You can see he knows he has to change what's happening here. He knows he can't outbox Kelly. So he's just trying to turn things around with one big single right hand. So predictable, Kelly can see what's coming. Dealing with it well. Still, I'd love to see a bit more quality. That's the, the rabbit punch that he, he was pulled up for, which is good comment. Just a bit more quality in, in Kelly's actual punching. But as you can see, no problem as, as far as I go. One round to Mala draw two, the rest to Kelly on my card. Working on a pump on the left eye of Malu Drotu. No big scares for Kelly. Those eyes holding so far, up. So good, he, keep, he, 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 he has to come out, he has to attack you. You know it? Okay, so let's go. He has to come out, he has to attack you. Get them going. Keep them short, so. Sensible it, words from Michael Hawkins, just warning Damien Kelly that Simone Maladrotto's got to do something different. He's really got to go for it now. Second half. European bantamweight title on the line. Remember the black trunks of the Italian champion and the white and green of Belfast Damian Kelly. See when he claims the centre of the ring, backs Marla draw to up. Looks much more impressive. What will the Maladrotu corner be thinking, Jim? Well, he's not the easiest man to advise uh, against Kelly. He's so quick. I mean, you look and you, you think such and such a punch would land, but uh, it's just the speed of the man, the way he uses range, in and out, very difficult. But, but you would just have to say, you're going to get hit on the way in, just take your bumps, land punch for punch, don't try to box him, throw him into a, a war. Maladrotu is trying that at the moment. But coming off second best. Kelly, who's been sparring with Mark Minzy, the featherweight, so he's had strong men to work within the gym. Looks to have done him good so far. We see a world-class fighter wouldn't follow Kelly around the way Maladros is doing. He would walk across, he wouldn't throw any punches, he would step to the right, step to the left. Start giving him that boxed in feeling a little bit of panic and force him to throw punches. But to be honest, he doesn't seem good enough to execute that plan. He's just following Kelly around, doing the same things. Kelly's beginning to get rid of him he's boxing. Good little battle. But uh, Kelly beginning to look quite comfortable. As we know, Kelly. Not the biggest puncher, but Maladrotti's only got nine knockouts as well. He's often had to go the long haul. And he's got to be winning these rounds. If he can't win the rounds and he can't stop Kelly, he won't keep his title. I mean, he's had uh, regular success with the, the right hand over the top, but it, he doesn't follow up with anything. It's a single punch and Kelly usually peppers with their three and four little sharp shots. Still looks fresh, doesn't he, as well, Kelly? Yeah, but, and, but for Maladrotti's case, there's too much work going on in the centre of the ring. He needs Kelly on the ropes. He actually needs him in a corner, but he hasn't been able to manoeuvre him into those positions. Yep, 
Kelly really boxing well. And the fans, there's Sam Storey there. Former super middleweight, of course. Bernard Dunn here at ringside, plenty to cheer on Damien Kelly. See, a single punch success from Malia Grotu. But Kelly always coming back with something, but you see what I mean there again. But nice if these punches were really right, clean on target, knocking Malia Grotu's head back. And partially blocked. Scuffling punches, not the quality he's capable of, but everything is going well. When you have to do it, you have to do it, okay? You go out there, keep the sharpness and give it. Lì li devi mettere i montanti, non da lontano. Devi girare tutto, vincere le ultime, se no non si vince, ascoltami. Poi non dico più niente. Malo Drotu, he's brought over some family members. Bello da parte. Sitting just behind us and they, uh, they don't look very happy at the moment. Here's the eighth round. It's all gone very well for Damien Kelly so far in this uh, crucial challenge. And he knew it talking to him before at 33. If he loses tonight, maybe not many avenues to go. And he's boxing ever so well, Jim. Yep, and he's making Malia draw to miss. Confusing him, frustrating him. Another big drive from Malia draw to, but I think he badly needs some result just to build his confidence a little bit. Nice, neat combinations. Also the countering of Kelly, which is working well tonight. And we to the occasional success with the slashing right hand. But not enough. Concentrate so hard for every minute of every round with his style, Kelly. Yeah, I mean, keeping in mind the fact that Malia Drotch is not a massive puncher himself, so even if he gets through with the odd pot shot, it shouldn't really trouble Kelly. I mean, Kelly does have a sound enough chin. Standing his ground a bit more there, Kelly. But still that continuous criticism. I just wish his own punches were a slightly higher quality. Was forced to trade a bit in the third and fourth earlier parts of the fight, Kelly. And uh, first time up in the eight stone six division, he sensibly knew that that wasn't the place he wanted to be. The quality in that left hook, that was nicely done. People around us at ringside absolutely glued to this. A technical chess match. No real thrills and spills, but fabulous to watch Kelly at work. Lovely, that was quality, a little step side, cuff round the ear, there you go, take that. That was so nicely done. Really has been a classy operator over the years, Damien Kelly. And he's putting on a very good performance tonight. And let's have a look at the... Uh, British fighters who've won it in the past, the great Jackie Patterson, who's also the world flyweight champion from Scotland in the 40s, and then the Irishman, John Kelly, 53 to 54, he's one of the men that Kelly wants to emulate, and this man, Freddie Gilroy, is the other. We've had one at England, Alan Rudkin, Liverpudnian. I don't know who the judges are. Also, uh, Johnny right? so Clark. You know they're you can't take it. You, and you, the you have to win the rounds, great win late the Johnny game. Owen. That's not fake. Of That's course. Sure you had him far more days than you had. Prince Nassim okay. Hamid, how can we forget know. him? Okay. Don't well. get mixed up. We can't do that. It was uh, 12 finals when Nassim Hamid won this European title. Some of the 
long list of British fighters who've won it, but uh, importantly for Kelly, he'll become only the third Irishman after John Kelly and Freddie Gilroy to lift this title, Jim, if he can just keep it going for the next four rounds. Yeah, well, his corner are just telling him they're quite happy that he's winning the rounds, but you don't know how these judges are seeing it. We've seen some aggression here and there from Al Gudrota, but it hasn't impressed me. Kelly always just seems to be that little bit more accurate. A little bit busier. Another big drive from Malga Trotty here. Here the really gun shield flies. <laughs> really flew yeah. out, didn't it? <laughs> Kelly goes to the neutral corner, ever the professional. And Malga uh, Trotty has it replaced, keeping light on his feet, Kelly. And quickly back into the mode that he's been in from the opening bell knows how vital this fight is listen to the crowd now Jim they're starting to believe well I think any thoughts that Kelly had that facing a bantam week could give him problems in the later rounds they seem to have been dispersed because he's much more confident now. Malu Drotto has maybe slowed slightly, so he's pinning him with lovely shots now on the counter, really at boxing well. I wonder if we've seen the best of Malu Drotto. Will Kelly really put a seal on a convincing victory now? It hasn't seemed to come up with many more ideas, Malu Drotto. Kelly's made him look almost a basic champion tonight with some of his classy moves and sweet skills. Tries the body again, Maladrotu will be hoping that he can slow Kelly down in this territory. He's forcing everything Maladrotu there's no build-up in anything he's doing, no method. He's just trying to change things with one single shot all the way. He's only ever been beaten once by Karim Katoun, December 2001, in uh, a six-round fight. Victorious every other time. He's travelled to Madrid, but this different again in Belfast and against a fighter who is boxing so very, very well tonight. Real signs of frustration now in Malvi Drotto's work. I mean, he, he came here a solid European champion. He probably didn't believe anybody could make him miss as often as this. Probably can't believe what's going on here. Another good round for Kelly. People. Okay. All right. In the middle of that there was a wee bit of a. You got three or four shots. Listen, you're not tired. You're not even thinking of getting tired. You're not even thinking about it. Okay. He doesn't look tired. But look at how many punches he's thrown. Almost 500. Look at the ones landed, Jim. Compared to Maladrotto. Yeah, well, that tells the, the, the full story. Maladrotto throwing single punches. Success now and again. This is nothing to build on. Can't sustain any attacks, Kelly. Too quick, too cute. And really boxing to his best tonight. Get up. Get up. Listen, get out there and you've got form. You've got form. Make him miss counter. Make him miss counter. Make him snappy. Get out there and perform, says Michael Hawkins. I think he's been doing just that pretty much all night. But he's got to close the show. Doesn't want anything to go wrong when so much has got right for him tonight, Kelly. Because Malu Drotu will really go for broke now. He has to, Jim. Yeah, but I, I just don't I think, I think he's clueless now what to do with Kelly. I think he's tried everything. I think a couple of rounds ago, everything that he had, he had shown. So I think he's going to carry on with what he's doing, home for one big shot. And I don't really feel he has the power in that one shot to turn this around. Starting 
to lunge, looking for the right hand and just not getting near enough the target, Malodrotu. Kelly not allowing Malodrotu to bully him a couple of times in the earlier rounds. It looks as though he had the strength to do that, but we haven't seen that for quite some time. Kelly able to stand his ground and drill back the counter. The skills honed in the Holy Family amateur club all those years ago for Damien Kelly. I've worked a treat. He moves and glides around the ring. Covers so much of it, doesn't he? Well, that's what I mean when I see a proper world-class fighter would be walking to the side and keep him in that corner. He was escaping too easily. Aldo Drotto just hasn't the class to carry that out. He's doing the same things he's been doing all night long. They haven't worked, but he doesn't have anything else to offer. But he's certainly putting everything into it. He's kept it entertaining all the way. That's the heads there. There's a cut, finally, there's a cut to Damien Kelly, but it is on the top of the head, on the forehead. So it's not in a dangerous position. We hope. But there we see the blood flowing. And it's uh, come in the tenth round. Purpose and desire in Malu Drotter's work now. I think he feels his European title slipping from his grasp, giving it a, a last shot. Couldn't ask for a lot more from him. Yeah. A smile from Kelly to the referee. The sight of blood has spurred Malu Drotu on, but is it too little, too late? You work from there. Okay, no problem. Absolutely no problem. All right. All right. Well, again, that, that's the heads come together then. I would say if you had to blame someone, uh, Malia Drotto, a couple of signs of frustration there. Uh, and I think that was one of them, but thankfully, Listen, no you make serious this guy damage. Miss. You have two rounds to perform. This is the big stage now. This is the one we want to win. All right, two rounds to do it. How do you do it? That's right. That's right. He has to come out and knock you out now. That's why he's coming charging at you. So then make a miss. And then counter, and you don't want that head going down, referee's getting a wee bit. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so come on. Be the man, I get out here and get round that ring. What, six minutes? Six minutes? But don't lose concentration for a second. Okay. I'll tell you, Jim, it may have been a near perfect ten rounds for Damien Kelly, but what about Michael Hawkins in the corner? He's got it spot on, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's done an excellent job in the corner. He, he's let uh, Kelly know he's winning, but uh, stressed upon him not to take things easy, not to dip the concentration. So good corner work. Well, some boxing fans love the, the knockouts and the uh, sheer drama of the big men. These little guys can really put on a show. I hope you're enjoying the technical ability that Damien Kelly possesses and the way he's going about this. Classy, near high to Mutu. about Morrison's work okay we're in the last uh, 10 seconds of a busy round but again we're to the one finishing stronger and that is the big problem he still has plenty in the tank that's been the tale of this one arms risen again from Mutu 
Final three minutes. He's got to go for this, Barry Morrison. He must either be behind or it must be very, very tight. He's got seven stoppage wins so far. And eighth now would be the tonic. Something he needs. Yeah, well, everything he has left, he has to pour it out. It wouldn't be a bad idea having a lazy first minute. Then a busy last two minutes just to, to get the referee's attention. Because Mutu has finished the last two or three rounds the stronger. Morrison, as I say, tactics are gone, time for thinking. Just get the punches out, get the feet a little bit closer. Try to get this fellow under pressure, but easier said than done. Do you think there was a, a slight problem with motivation because he just won the eliminator against Dean Hickman, waiting for a big, big fight? This an eight rounder against an unknown. No, I think we have to stop looking for deficiencies in Barry Morris. I think he's done pretty much what he's been doing in his career, landing good punches, showing good boxing. I just think we have to give it new to a little bit of credit. I mean, he's really came here in the best of shape, give it his full attention. And he's a difficult man to beat, and if you don't, if you don't believe me, ask Barry Morrison. They just seem to step ahead. Quicker hands, more accurate. Hey, hi to Mutu. And I guess if he does lose this, Morrison, there's no disgrace. He can go back to the gym and learn from this. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong. I mean, if he was in the verge of a major title, then you would have to worry. But uh, he's in a competitive division, there's a lot of good fights before he starts actually chasing the British title. And if this goes against him, no real disgrace. Mutu hasn't done too much himself in this round. So Morrison kept him occupied, although not really made that impression he's been looking to make. Into the last minute of the contest, again Barry Morrison just sort of falls over, tired. He's tried so very hard, can't fault his effort. Just uh, hasn't been on the money, as they say. Well, we asked him to give everything in the last round. I think he's doing that. He's maybe just outworking me too. And I think that's the best you can do with this fellow. Just try to grind out a result. Uh, I don't think he's going to quite manage that. But we can't ask for a lot more. He just found himself with a cute little item tonight who knew what he was doing and he was good at doing it. It's been a top quality performance from the high two Mutu. Is he going to get his just deserves? David Irvin, the referee, goes straight to the Romanian based in France, lifts his arms. Barry Morrison knows it's the first defeat. It is unlucky. 13 for the Motherwell like welterweight. His record will now read 12 fight, 12 wins, one defeat in 13 fights. And he's thoroughly disgusted with himself, Jim. No, he's not entitled to be because we couldn't ask a lot more. This fellow deserved the victory, I agree with it. I thought, I, I tell you what, what Barry Morris would love this fellow to move over here and spar some rounds with him. What, what, what an education that would be. This fellow had little moves that Barry had never had to, to deal with before. Never, you can see, you can see the stats, they're always in, in Mutu's favour. Excellent performance, no disgrace. And uh, it, it's nice to see a visitor coming over uh, and getting a, a result that he deserves. Barry Morrison beaten by the better man. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, referee David Irving has scored this contest. For Morrison, 75 points. For Mutu, 78 points. Your winner from France, Mihaita Mutu. And please show your appreciation, please, for Scotland's Barry Morrison. Polite applause. Just like in the top of the bill, so you know what's coming next, don't you? Was that the right result? Yeah, I did write the result. Mutu, skip, pop and flicked. He, he was fast, he was slick. Uh, remember, in February, he boxed uh, Juan Carlos Diaz Mileto for, for the...